In this video, we'll look at how to use the sunlight system in SketchUp with V-Ray as a rendering engine and how to control that, um, those two together. I have here a model with a default scale figure from SketchUp that I'm going to delete. I have a simple architectural model and I'm going to turn on my shadows. I could also do that here through the um, shadows tray. And I'm using just the, the standard sunlight system that comes with SketchUp. I can change the time of day. I can change the specific date. I can change the light and dark contrast for my model. And with no other lights added, this is the same light that V-Ray will use when we render. So if I were to click in my V-Ray for SketchUp render, I can see that the shadows follow the same path um, as the real-time shadows. Of course, this looks dramatically different. I don't know if we'll say better or worse, but it is being rendered in a way that has more variation in tone coming from the light. You can see the surfaces where the light is hit directly here is very bright, and the surfaces that are on the backside is darker. However, I'm getting a sense of blue light coming from a sky dome on the backside, so what is in shade is not simply lowered in tone from the white. It's not a gray, but it's actually a blue. And if I were to change the time of day, let's go a little bit later in the day, so 2.18 p.m. You can see that the current camera settings, the default method of, of exposing our camera to light in SketchUp is obscuring the detail in this area. It's being lit with so much direct light that it's being obscured. And if I were to switch deep enough into the day, let's say around five o'clock, we'll see that the color of light and the, the brightness of the light changes dramatically. And that's because V-Ray is taking into account the angle of the view, or the, excuse me, the angle of the light coming in. And as that angle gets lower in the sky, it is going to tint it with an atmospheric model the way our light at sunset becomes warmer. The light late in the day is going to become warmer and the sky dome itself will also become kind of warmer in tone. If I open my asset editor, this is where I can control the settings for V-Ray, the V-Ray renderer, and I'm going to set my time of day just a little bit back to that kind of tough scenario where at 2 o'clock, 2.30, I'm not seeing any detail here in my, my model. So what's happening is the current camera has a sensitivity to light that at this time of day, from this angle, is not allowing me to see detail. It's overexposing and clipping essentially to almost pure white all of this side of the, the model. The way I would change that in my settings is under my camera tab. So I'm here in settings in my asset editor. And under my camera tab, I have an exposure control that's on by default and something called an EV or an exposure value. And this exposure value is a combination of aperture of the lens, of frame um, shutter speed, and of ISO. And if I increase that number and render, I'm going to render now from here. What you'll see is the higher the exposure value, the less sensitive it is to light. And now I'm certainly seeing more detail there, but it feels like I went a little too far. We're in a very subjective realm, but let's say I'm going to try 15.5 there. Now it still feels bright subjectively, but I'm seeing some of the detail in there. So this value here is incredibly important in times where we might want to increase the exposure value or increase the exposure by lowering that number if we're not getting enough detail or lower it to see more detail. For instance, if I were to be looking in to this shadow area, and I were want to want to see more detail in there, I might increase the exposure by lowering this number. Let's say I go down to 13, and that is going to render this area that is in shade for the most part far brighter. So it'll allow me to, to be more sensitive to light. What, what's critical to understand here is I'm not increasing the amount of light from the sun, I'm changing the camera's sensitivity. 
So the sunlight is staying exactly the same. I'm just letting the camera be more or less sensitive um, at particular times. So that's using exposure in camera settings. Um, I suppose the, the last kind of critical component here is my white balance. If I wanted to change my white balance, let's say my white becomes more light blue. So I'm picking that color swatch and setting it to be light blue. I'm going to set this back to 15.25 and render. Now I'm taking out some of that blue. I'm compensating for where the blue was. It's a little hard to see at this scale. So let's set our exposure value. And this was more blue originally, and it was getting the blue from the sky dome shining in from the outside. And by setting my white balance to be more blue, I've managed to pull that out. And if I were to set my white balance to be, let's say, a little bit orange, and I were to render later in the day, I'm going to be compensating for some of the orange that is coming in. So the reddish orange color is less pronounced than it was. And I'm doing that through this white balance. So the direction, the color you set this in becomes the new white. Anything that was that orange is now pushed to white and the entire color spectrum is shifted around that. If I go back to pure white, it's tough to see perhaps in the video, but this is a little more red. And if I were to go back earlier in the day, this shade area is more blue. So that's with the default pure white setting in our white balance. So that's using the standard shadow sunlight system in V-Ray and SketchUp with the camera exposure value and white balance.